Hello friends, today let's talk about Kelvin cycle. Kelvin cycle is a series of biochemical redox reaction that takes place in stroma of chloroplast without light during photosynthesis and carbon fixation. It is also known as light independent reaction used during carbon fixation. Different names, they have given different names for this Kelvin cycle. Let's look at the names. It is also known as C3 cycle, dark reactions, CBB, Kelvin, Benson, Basham. Kelvin cycle was discovered by Melvin Kelvin, Andrew Benson, and James Basham. In 1950, at the University of California, Berkeley, they used radioisotopes carbon-14 to trace the path of carbon atom during carbon fixation. I will show you completely the, how this cycle goes in drawing manner. Let's look at it. Hello friends, RUBP is nothing but ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate where this is being means carbon dioxide and water comes and attaches to this from there 3-phosphoglyceric acid is Formed. After this, 1,3 bis phosphoglyceric acid is formed by utilizing ATP giving rise to ADP. And then in this cycle, it is known as carboxylation phase where NADPH Q rise to NADP and then this carboxylation phase is giving a reductive reductive phase in which it is reduced and giving six glycerol head 3 phosphate the 6 is also known as glycerol head 3 phosphate pool so many said that this is like a so many that's why it's, its name is given by glycerol ahead 3 phosphate and uh, where the glycerol ahead 3 aspirin is combined with a DHAP dihydroxy acetone phosphate this gives rise to means it is exhibited to to cytoplasm for synthesis of hexose this is the main thing means here 
hexospheres and next this 2,3-bisphosphate, 3-glycerolate, 3-phosphate attached means combined with DHCAP again the, in this all dose is taking place this give rise to fructose 1,6 bis phosphate again this is phosphorylized and gives fructose 6 phosphate where IP is also taken in this and this cycle will be like that and uh, here this transketolase gives to erythrose bisphosphate erythrose 5-phosphate when fructose is combined with this and of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate this liberate xylose 5-phosphate where this give rise to erythrose 4 phosphate again here DHAP attaches and then the combination of glycerolehyde 3 phosphate DHP and erythrose 4 phosphate give rise to pseudoheptulose 17 bisphosphate one seven bis phosphate and then rise to pseudo head to loss seven phosphate here also phosphorylation phosphate has takes place and this give rise to ribulose 5 phosphate before that glycerolehyde 3 phosphate combines with pseudoheptulose and give rise to xylose 5 phosphate where this give rise to ribose 5 phosphate this is isomerized and gives ribulose 1 5 this phosphate and here if you observe what happens means this is xylose phosphate will combines with ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate by epimerase and uh, this xylose is also combines with ribulose 1,5-phosphate where epimerase takes place here ribulose 5-phosphate combines but through isomerase Here, one ribulose 1 5 phosphate is uh, changed to ribulose 5 phosphate. In this, ATP is used and ADP is released.
I hope guys this might be helpful and uh, I will make few more videos to understand the concepts okay thank you